Hello, Power Fans, I'm Nathanical, and thank you for joining me back for round two with Turbo Walls. Our opening hand is unfortunately not quite good enough since it can only produce one mana and we really need two to start playing these battlements. So we're going to go ahead and send that one back. Our next hand is a lot better and we're going to be able to send the Leaf Culture to the bottom. While it is a combo piece with the battlement to be able to produce all the blue mana we need, unfortunately, it just isn't as important as everything else in the hand. So, send that to the back, and just the opening turns will basically play themselves. We're just going to play a Caretaker, and then into a Battlement. Our opponent starts on a Baron Moor, and then a Witches. So, our Quarian Ranger that we played is starting to look pretty weak. And, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, our first Winding Way ended up just hitting one thing, and our second one ended up hitting a kind of a lot of air. It was four random creature four random walls or three walls in a crane range that we're going to hold on to but you know it is what it is this will at least be good against random edict effects since we now have tons of stuff to just throw away and if our opponent doesn't have any the of the scare cards like pestilence or crypt rats we're actually going to be in a pretty good position just by having a sheer number of creatures to resist all of the edict effects so we went and played a drift of the phantasm to uh, use a lead the stampede and we also whiffed pretty hard there so we're running pretty bad although we finally found a vivian's grizzly which then allowed us to find a axbane guardian which we can then give haste and then we can start looking a ton so this is starting to look pretty good for us uh, except our opponent now made us discard the Quarian ranger and then killed our grizzly so now we're back in a position where we need to top deck something and drift is very good we could drift for another uh, Lead the Stampede to try and get lucky off the top, but they haven't really been making us discard this last turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it, because if I draw something, like Aquarian Ranger, what this allows me to do is drift for Reaping the Graves, and then use Reaping the Graves to get back both Drift of, the Phant drift of Phantasms, which then gets me the full combo. Uh, this is, of course, going to be weak if they have um, Instant Speed Removal Spell, like... Um, Defile? Yes, Defile, because if they defiled the Galvanic Alchemist in response to the Soulbond trigger, we actually wouldn't be able to go infinite here. Think, but I, I was sensing a bit of weakness, otherwise they probably would have killed the Axeman Guardian previously. So we're just going to go ahead and tutor up the entire combo, and click like crazy to get the win. And our opponent, uh, as they see what's going on, they do eventually concede. So we're going to jump on over to game number two. And we'll first take a look at the sideboard. In this matchup, we do want to bring in Ulamog's Crushers, since that will help us survive uh, some of the board wipes that they may are, are very likely to bring in, as well as it's just an extra threat that they'll have to remove. We're also going to bring in the Obsidian Acolyte, which is very good against target removal, allowing us to protect our things. It is, of course, going to be weak if they have you know any uh, suffocating fumes or the like, but uh, we're just going to bring it in and see how it goes. Uh, what we're going to take out is a Quarian Ranger and a Leaf Caller. We don't want the, uh, too many of the X1 effects because, well, we know they have Witches and they're likely to have other things that will sweep those up. And then we're just going to take out two Wall of Roots. We do want to keep in the Shield Spheres here, mainly because they're a very cheap and quick creature we can just drop on the board, which will help us play around Edicts, helping us keep the creatures we want alive. Uh, having gone through that, we'll take a look at our opening hand. And it's a no lander, so we're going to go ahead and send that one back. Our second hand has one land, but then it does have a way of producing a second mana. So while this hand is a little bit on the clunky side, it should be fine. And we're going to send back a drawbridge. So our opponent starts on a divest, and they did have an interesting choice. They could have either tried to take one of our one mana plays to try and tie, like hold us back on mana, but they took the more powerful late game play in the Drift of Phantasms. So yeah, that makes that makes sense. We ended up drawing another Caretaker, so next turn, depending on what we draw, we're going to be able to play both our one drops. And we drew a Guardian, so we're just going to go ahead and make that play. Our opponent makes us discard, so we're going to get rid of the drawbridge. And then here we have the decision of either playing the Guardian or the Lead the Stampede. Personally, I'm going to go for the Lead the Stampede, because if we play the Guardian and they make us discard again, it's going to feel very bad getting rid of that. So 
we're just going to draw a bunch of cards. We end up hitting four things, which is amazing. Exactly what we want. Now we've got discard fodder if we need to, but we also have most of the combo. We've got um, the Grizzly plus the Axebane Guardian here. We're going to go ahead and play down the Drawbridge plus the Guardian. These are cards that we wouldn't want discarded out of our hand. And there's a Scare card. We've got the Crypt Rats there. So we want to try and go off this turn if possible. So we ended up drawing a Winding Way. And so we're going to go ahead and cast that. And we got pretty lucky. We ended up finding the Galvanic Alchemist as well as enough... We have enough walls to go off with it. So once our opponent saw that and we started playing our combo, our opponent ended up conceding. Thankfully, they only had two mana left open, so they'd only be able to clear out some of our little stuff and they can't kill any of our walls. So we're able to just Galvanic Alchemist, Grizzly through our deck, and find our win. Thank you very much for joining me in round two, and I'll see you in round three.